Hi, this is Melanie from Hook to the Left, and today we're going to go over some Dollar Tree crochet items. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, today we're going to take a look at some Dollar Tree items, and then I'm just going to give you my impression on them and see if they're worth even just the dollar that you pay. <laughs> Or if I think that you could get a better deal, um, and deal doesn't always mean cheap, but a better deal from somewhere else. So let's take a look at these here. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the yarn. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, yes, it is worth it. Uh, so you get with this yarn, their yarn balls, which, to, which right now they have fall colors out, um, which you saw at the beginning. So I have, here's the, the dark forest green um black and then this purple which you know purple halloween you get it right and then they also the colors that i don't have on me um but they also have an oatmeal color as well as um which is a nice just kind of cleanser color i actually do have one i just have been using it so i'm gonna show you real quick but that that's that's their oatmeal color right there um, I've just been using it. I'm working on a um, a dog a dog sweater with it. So if you follow me on Instagram, and if you're not, why not? My information's right here. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen a picture of those squares already. Anyway, um, so on this yarn, I'm not going to go through what the colorways are called. Uh, I think they're just basic names. Well, I'm like this one's marmalade. Um, and really what what we're gonna focus on in this particular video is what I think of them if they're worth the money and like I said the yarn is definitely worth the money it is a softer yarn it is not a gross yarn it's not super saver <laughs> which I'm not a fan of super saver but you know if you fought, watched our um, live at the beginning of the breaking the rules uh, yarn hookers life um, and if you haven't watched it I'm gonna go ahead and link that playlist up above but at the beginning of that Kate tells us how to soften any of the scratchy yarns. It's a great, great uh, um, uh, little tip. So make sure you go and check that out. But anyway, this is this is nice. This isn't that scratchy. So it's a nice basic yarn. Um, I would make it. I would compare it to I love this yarn, or I would also compare it to Mainstay's basic yarn, which is the Walmart brand yarn. In this particular ball, you get um, 131 yards, 120 meters, 60 grams, or 2.11 ounces. So that's 131 yards for one dollar. So for two dollars, you get 262 yards of yarn, and that is almost the size, pretty much the size of a basic skein of yarn. So you would save compared to Walmart's mainstays yarn you would save about 30 to 50 cents depending on where you're from so i think that that is a pretty good deal also you get different colors so like the, these colors right here these seasonal colors they're not available in mainstays yarn mainstays yarn has more of the basic colors i don't see them coming out with seasonal colors so that's something to consider as well uh so again this yarn is great for what you use it for so let's go ahead and take a look at some at these hooks and then we're going to work on some yarn to see how these hooks work out so these are the hooks that are available in the crafter square section they also have needles um, now the needle i did see a needle in, that was aluminum um, but i did not see aluminum hooks these are all plastic hooks these are a dollar for a two pack so basically these hooks are 50 cents a piece they have your basic sizes. Let me put them in order. So this right here is your four and your four and a half millimeter. This right here is your five and your five and a half millimeter. And this one is your six and your six and a half millimeter. So for three dollars, you get your all the basic sizes that you could you could need, um, which that is an amazing deal. But how well do they work? Are they going to catch on things? Let's take a look and see. I'm going to go ahead and put the two. The six, the set is six and six and a half and the four and four and a half aside. And we're gonna take a look and I usually use with basic yarn, I use a four 
and I'm going to be tearing into these here. So I end up using a uh, five and a half millimeter. Some people use a five. I use a five and a half. Oh, this is cute. I didn't even notice this. Uh, hang on. This actually is a neat little detail and I did not expect this for a Dollar Tree item. But you have this little detail at the bottom. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now, when I feel this, I don't feel that. Ah, now, nope, here, if you run your finger across this way, you can feel the ridge line on that. So I'm going to see how that... Now, if you run this way, you don't really feel it. I'm not feeling anything that will catch on the yarn. So, um, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you because of that little line, that plastic line that I can feel right here, I would not use this with a roving yarn or a yarn that has uh, a lot of halo. Um, I'm going to just say that right off the bat. But, if you want to learn how to crochet, it feels like this would be a fine um, hook to get to start to see hey is this is this the hobby for me and if you find out that it is then you can go and invest in a boy or Susan hook Susan Bates hook and you can get those from Walmart um, and they're just a little bit more uh, they usually run anywhere between 80 cents to $1.50 a piece for the basic sizes when you get into the larger sizes and I would say larger sizes are uh, seven millimeter and up uh, then it, it starts to cost a little bit more so uh, let me go ahead and get one of my yarns that I've already been working in. So I'm going to get this one. And I am going to tell you here, let me show you one of these squares. As far as working up that, the, that Dollar Tree yarn, it works up just like any other basic yarn. Um, I've been making these squares with it, uh, with my, my regular hooks. I use clover hooks. Those are my favorite. Link down below. Love them. Um, but uh, it, they, the, this yarn works up just like any other yarn. There's really no difference in it. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and let's see if I can tell how this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and do my slip knot. Get this on the hook here. It's, it's sliding up and down the hook okay. It is not as smooth as I would like it to be. I have been spoiled by my clover, so I do understand that. So let, let me go ahead and chain 10. One, two, three, four, five. So just get a little bit stuck. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Um, it does, uh, it's not snagging. It's just not gliding that well. Um, so that, that's what's happening. It's, I'm not getting any snags at all, but it's just not gliding as well. Um, I'm going to do the lazy man's uh, row across. I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet across. So single crochet and this is working just fine I'm not having any problem with this um, it could be that because I have a little bit of a tighter tension on my chains see no it's not gliding as smooth going back this way it's not as smooth and I and I do realize that I am very spoiled by my clovers now this is not a deal breaker on these hooks these hooks are 50 cents a piece you got to remember that these are plastic hooks that basically cost you 50 cents each um, so, but I, I do feel like it's not gliding. It is not catching on anything. That, that one little, that little plastic that you can feel on the top, it's not catching on anything. So there is that. I'm glad about that. But it does not glide up and down the hook as well as some of the better hooks could do. I actually think aluminum would be better for the glide than these are. Um, I have not tried other plastic hooks. Um, boy plastic hooks, may, it may just be something that has to do with plastic, but um, I feel like aluminum glides a lot better. Um, so let's, uh, so that's going into the chain, the lazy man's way of going into the chain. I didn't go in the back loop, I went into a side loop. Um, let's go ahead and 
do it into the stitches here. Now see I'm still not, it's still not gliding as much as I would like. So yeah, really not gliding as much as I would like. All right, so my final verdict on this, the hooks and the yarn. The yarn is amazing. I, I would buy this yarn every day, all day of the week, okay? Um, on the hooks, they are super cute. I love this little detail at the bottom. Um, if, if you don't know if crochet is your, your thing, if you are like, you know what? I think I wanna check out this um, hobby and I wanna see if this is my thing. Um, go ahead and buy these hooks. Uh, it's, it's a dollar for two hooks. You can get your five and your five and a half millimeter and, and then get a ball of basic yarn and see if you can't whip up something and see if you like it. See if it's something that is for you. Um, if it is, go ahead and buy them. Once you start making more stuff though, I would highly suggest that you go and you purchase an aluminum, at least an aluminum hook. Something like this Susan Bates hook. Maybe not, you don't have to get this one. This one's a little bit more expensive because it's dipped in this like rubbery material. But uh, this is a Susan Bates hook, which is an inline hook or a boy hook. Susan Bates and boy, boy hooks can be found at, um, at Walmart. Uh, more boy hook, they have more boy hooks than Susan Bates. They do have a package of uh, basically these same six or it might only be five but it's the same the same size that but they have a pack at walmart last i looked it was right around five dollars same way with the boy boy was just a little bit cheaper than susan bates um these particular susan bates hooks are sold at michael's and i believe this one was right around two dollars for this singular hook and this is the five and a half i got a five and a half and a five um so if you find that crochet is your thing, then I would highly suggest that you stop using these and you start using aluminum or better. Okay, um, uh, like I said, the Susan Bates or the Boy are a great investment until you realize you're gonna stick with it. If you realize you're gonna stick with it, then I would start looking at upgrading to Clover or Tulip. Um, so, uh, that is my verdict on these particular, and my lights just now getting washed out, so I'm glad that I was able to get this in there, but, um, that is my verdict on these particular hooks and the yarn. Um, I, uh, don't ever pass up the yarn, get what you can of it, and, uh, on the hooks, um, use them until you realize that this is the, uh, hobby for you, okay? All right, well, that is it for today's video. If you found this valuable, then please go ahead and hit that like button. Um, and if you like things like yarn hauls, reviews, um, yarn hauls, reviews, and other crochet goodness, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so that you're reminded each time I put out a new video. I really appreciate everyone. Um, and if you have any suggestions for anything else you'd like to see on my channel, or if you just want to comment about this or anything, then go ahead and drop a comment down below. I love to hear from you. I try to reply to every comment. And uh, that is, again, it for today. Thank you again so much. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Until I found you right there in the